fourth graders. Last week, we analyzed the queen from Snow White and the Huntsman. This week, we have read an expert excerpt from Peter and Wendy, and we read a scene in the bedroom with Peter and Wendy. Today, we're gonna analyze Peter's character. We're gonna take a close look at Peter and see what his motives and actions are. And then on your own, you're gonna take a close look at Wendy and think about her as a character and what we know about her. So when we start with Peter, let's think about what words we'd use to describe him. Now you can identify character traits anywhere during your analysis of a character. So right off the bat, we might think, well, in the story, he's very ch kind of childish and boyish. He gets stubborn with Wendy when she asks him about where she li he lives. Um, he's definitely easily frustrated. So about like his shadow, he tries to glue it on, he cries. So an easily frustrated person, a character trait we could use to describe him would be impatient. So I'm gonna write that. That's one thing we know about Peter. He's impatient. He is very stubborn. When he says indignantly about something to Wendy, it shows that he doesn't want to be proven wrong. And the character trait we could use for that is stubborn. That's the kind of person he seems to be. He also is very proud. He takes credit for Wendy's sewing when the shadow is attached all of a sudden he's like ha 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 look at what look at this and he acts like it's him and so he acts proud and I think the author even uses the word conceit that he answered with conceit and conceited is somebody who is full of himself or over proud kind of like the gnat was do you remember how the gnat and the lion the gnat was so proud or conceited arrogant Boy, that seems to be a common character trait in these tales that we are reading. So already we have a few traits to describe Peter. He's impatient, he's stubborn, he's proud and conceited. Now, you might know other things about Peter, like you know that he doesn't have a mother. Well, that's a detail about Peter, but it's not a character trait. It doesn't describe what kind of person he is. It describes to us that he's an orphan, but it doesn't describe like what he's made of, his character, what his actions reveal about him. So let's talk about his motives. What does he want in this excerpt? He wants his shadow back on, right? He wants help. So his motive is he wants his shadow back on. It's become detached from his body. That's what makes this a fantasy, is your shadow never becomes detached from your body, right? It's only there when the sun is out and casting a shadow. So he wants his shadow back on his body. So what actions does he take? Well, he tries to a few things. Let's think, of, think about it. What does he do? I'm gonna give you some think time. What does he do to get it back on? You think about it. Wow, what's he do? He tries to glue it back on with soap and then he cries. I mean, he is impatient. He cries, it won't work, he's upset. So that's his actions. He cries when it won't work. Well, what happens as a result of his action of trying to glue it back on? He cries, who does it wake up? It wakes up Wendy. It wakes up Wendy and Wendy helps him. Wendy helps him sew it on. She even has to explain to him. He says, what's sewn? He doesn't know what it means. He's ignorant about what that word means. So she helps him sew it on and then he does what? At the end of the story, what does he say? Let's look back to see what his words are. 
When I go back to the text, his words reveal a lot about his character. It, he says, how clever am I? He crowed rapturously. That would mean like, how clever am I? Just like that. He's just so caught up in himself and his shadow being back on, even though he didn't do it himself. Oh, the cleverness of me. It is humiliating to have to confess the conceit of Peter was one of his most fascinating qualities. To put it in brutal frankness, that means to be perfectly clear, there was never a cockier boy. So there was never a boy who was more overly confident in himself. But that made Wendy shocked because she called him a braggart and she said, oh, of course I did nothing. And she gets mad, she gets mad. So Wendy helped, oops, I left off ED, helped him sew it on, but he took the credit. So his actions were that he tried to glue it on with the soap, but it wouldn't work. Wendy helped him to sew it on, but he took the credit. So he has to learn a lesson from that. What lesson did he learn from having Wendy help him and taking it credit. This came right at the end of the passage. What did Wendy say? Well, if that's how you feel, I will withdraw. What's it mean with you, with you, with you withdraw? She's gonna leave. She wants to get out of there. She doesn't wanna be involved with Peter anymore. And he says, oh no, Wendy, but one girl is worth more than 20 boys. So in the end, he learns that his friends and appreciating his friends is the most important. So the lesson he learns is um, Peter learns to appreciate his friends like Wendy. I'm going to say Wendy, who helped him. Now, when I look at my character analysis chart, I'm still missing the challenges here. Peter has a few challenges in this story. We know a few things about him. We know he lives in a faraway place, so he's not where he normally is. We know that he doesn't have a mother. And we also learn that he doesn't really know everything. He doesn't know about his shadow. He doesn't know how to get his shadow back on. He doesn't know what sewing is. So his challenges might be, the, I'm gonna use some bullet points here. He has no mother. He's from a far away place. And he doesn't know everything but he kind of acts like he knows everything. Oh, goodness gracious, there it went. Let me do my mouse. Get it back. All right, he doesn't know everything. Well, we did it again. I modeled for you an analysis of Peter's character. I drew a little picture of him. I used some ideas from the story. We talked about his traits, impatient, stubborn, proud, conceited. We got those from his actions. We even got them right from the narrator's words when he said, never was there such a conceited boy. Now, Peter thought he was clever, and clever means creative or resourceful, but we know from his actions that he really was not a very clever boy. So I'm not gonna write clever there, even though it seems like it's right there in the text. So his mo motives are that he wants his sh shadow back on. The motives is why does he act the way he acts? What does he want in the story? The actions are he tries to glue it on with soap and cries when it won't work. His consequences, Wendy helped him sew it on, but he took the credit and it upset Wendy. The lesson he learned, Peter learns to appreciate Wendy who helps him. Let's make that a little bit helped him.
And the challenges he faces in our story is that he has no mother, he's from a faraway place, and he doesn't know everything. So your work today is to try it yourself, to go back to the story. Think about what we know about Wendy. What traits would you use to describe Wendy? What kind of person is she? What motivates her in the story? What does she want to do? And so what actions does she take? What are the consequences or the results of her actions? What lesson does she learn about what she does in the book? And what are her challenges in the story? Give it a try. Analyze a character.